Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Spike Brothers Stride deck profile for the end of February 2016. Uh, just finished up this deck from the Technical Booster. It's a really fun deck, uh, using the whole charge uh, mechanic just to push a lot with your units and pretty much push for game with all the attacks you can get off. So let's go ahead and get through the deck profile. Uh, starting off with the stride zone, I run one Dirty Picaro. Uh, he is really a, you know, end game card just because he requires a GB3 to go off. You counter blast two and choose a face down card from your G zone, turn face up, and choose a card from your hand, put it in your soul. When this unit attacks Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search for up to one card from your deck for each face up card in your G zone and call those cards to open rear guards and then shuffle your deck. So basically, if you attack with units, you know, that have the charge ability to go back to the end of the turn. You have the empty uh, spaces, so then you can call those units out with Dirty Picaro and get off more attacks after he attacks. And I also run three uh, Godly Speed Flash Bruce. He's a put in to, uh, card from your hand to your soul when his attack hits. You may pay the cost to do you search your deck for up to one card, call it to rear, and that unit gets plus 5,000 for the turn. So he's just a pressure card, uh, basically, like to run three of him, because he can abuse the charge mechanic as well, and most of the charge cards get their power when they're charging, and an additional plus five can really help as well. And I also run two Showdown Miracle Ace. He's a Counter Blast one, and then you flip a copy of himself up, and he gets the effect. Um, basically, whenever a rear guard is put to your deck, you choose up to one of your units, and it gets plus 5,000. And then the GB3 effect is you can Soul Blast two. When a unit is placed back, you can place a card from your hand onto the field um, as well. So it basically makes so you don't have to you know, use up all your resources, but you'll get multiple attacks as long as you have Soul to use. And I also run two Great Villainous Damper Lily. She is the uh, on hit when you basically when an attack hits, you choose a card from your hand with the charge ability called to rear, and until the end of the turn, it gets plus five thousand. And then when it's put back into the deck, you draw a card. So it's not really a you know plus card, but it does allow you to get off multiple attacks and then draw, so you don't lose any of the resources you use to uh, get her going. And then on to the main deck, I run four of your main stride, which is not stride, but grade three, exceptional expertise, Rising Nova. Uh, his break stride is basically CB1 when he attacks, you put a card from your hand to the soul. If you do, choose a you search your deck for up to one card, call to open rear, and it gets plus five for the end of the turn. So it basically makes use of the um, charge effect, and the GB2 also allows you um, basically the same ability. You pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one card called to rear. It doesn't give the plus power, but it does help you, you know, just to get off multiple attacks and make use of the charge ability. And I also run four Bulldoze Dobe. He is a grade three. A pretty simple effect when he is charging, this unit gets plus 10,000. So if you call him with an effect, he'll be at 21k by himself. Uh, if you use uh, Flash Bruce, he'll be at 26. So just an overall great card for pressure. And I also run, for grade twos, I run four Wink Killer Misery. She is the card when boosted, you can counter blast one and choose a card from your hand, put it into your soul. And when this unit attacks a vanguard, if it's boosted, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for one card, not named Wink Killer. You call it to an open rear, shuffle your deck, and it gets plus 5,000. So another card that makes use of the charge ability. It's really good, very easy to get off her effect. And I also run four Axe Diver. This card is a Counter Blast one, Soul Blast one. Uh, allows you to bind one of your units, then call it back to the field. Um, so basically, it has to be charging to activate this effect. But calling it back will, you know, let you reactivate their charge ability. Or you know, if you don't, if it didn't have the charge ability, let's say you called it from your hand, so you can bounce it with this card, and then it'll be charging when it's brought back to the field. I had it at three, but found four a lot more consistent. And I also run four, he three Heaven Wees. He is the grade two version of um, Bulldozer Dobie. Uh, so he'll be at 19k by himself when he's charging, which are still pretty good numbers by themselves at least. And then for grade ones, I run four Kiss Mark Alma. She's the unflip PG. You do counter blast a lot in this deck, so you definitely want to run this perfect guard. And also four Acrobat Verdi. He is the stride enabler. You need to search out for... Um, your main grade three rising Nova to be your main Vanguard. If you have the other guy, you're not going to, you know, have as much consistency and you'll probably end up losing the game if he's not on your Vanguard. So this card helps with the stride cost and making sure you get the proper grade three. 
And I also run four Frog Raider. He is a card when a unit with charge is placed in on rear guard um, in the same column as this unit due to an effect. You can stand this. So you can basically attack and boost with this unit. And if another unit's called, restand them and attack by boosting again. And I also run two uh, Nud Maker and Yan Rook. He is the. Another great one that I like, basically, if it's charging, this unit gets plus well, 4,000. And when it's put back into the deck, you choose another of your units, and it gets plus 4. So along with him being a you know, good power on its own, you can also give an additional plus 4, which can make or break some attacks with this unit. For example, the grade 2 that has 19, putting it at 23k can matter. And then for grade 1s, your starter is Mecha Trainer. Uh, they didn't hit this card, which I found was surprising. But basically, you counter blast 1, retire it, search your deck for a grade 1. So you're able to search for the Stride Enabler or the Perfect Guard. So this card really helps set up a lot of your plays. And I also run 4, Liar Lips. She is the put in a soul, draw plus 5 crit if you have uh, Rising uh, Vanguard. So just draw power, soul power as well with this unit. Uh, I want to run three Silence Jokers, but I only have three at the moment, so teching in one Sonic Breaker for now. This is the unflip crit when you put in the soul, uh, choose a damage and unflip it. Uh, four draw, just for a little more consistency with the deck. Eight crit really helps pressure-wise with stride, but uh, draw helps to maintain hand. And four Magical Manager, just the new heal. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out.